I just start like blacking out, like slowly the corners of my eyes like start going black. <laughs> guys welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be doing a second trimester recap um, if you guys hear any noise in the back the boys are right here and they're watching their movie and having some snacks um, so yeah I am now in my third trimester I am 32 weeks today I believe today 32 weeks and we're kind of just speeding through it kind of feels like um but i wanted to talk in this video about like some cravings that came up in my second trimester and like pain and everything that changed basically so let's go ahead and just jump right into it so in my second trimester the nausea that i felt in my first trimester definitely went away which um thank the lord because that was horrible um i mentioned in the previous video that i didn't really have many cravings and that definitely changed in the second trimester in the second trimester i definitely started having a lot more cravings um definitely the sweets still um one that was a huge craving was ice cream i've never really been like an ice cream fanatic but I was just craving ice cream all of the time but it had to be from Cold Stone and it had to be dark chocolate with mint mixed with almonds. It could not be regular chocolate, it had to be the dark chocolate and it had to be the mint and they had to be mixed but there is like they had to be mixed perfectly like I couldn't have too much chocolate or too much mint because it would just throw it off. It had to be like 50-50. Um, like I said I was never really an ice cream fan but I, I was able to finish the biggest the gotta have it and still want more ice cream after I finished it so that was definitely one of baby girls cravings um, after I took my glucose test the first time that it came back elevated um, I stopped feeding into those cravings as much and I started buying um, more fruits to kind of try and um, use the fruits as my sweets but um, I did give in to ice cream from time to time because I'm not the only one with cravings Jonathan has also been getting a lot of cravings with baby girl he's craved um, He's craved nopales, which is cacti, um, and he's not really a big fan of it, but he had been craving it. He's also been craving ice cream, also from Cold Stone, but he just gets the mint and a Reese's cup on top. Not cut, not mixed or anything, just the Reese's cup on top. And he was craving cheesecake, like um, from the Cheesecake Factory. He was craving a lot of sweets as well. He still is, and he's like, oh my gosh, this girl is going to make me gain so much weight. But he's definitely had, I think he's had a lot more cravings than I have with this pregnancy. But um, yeah, so we would give in to the cravings for the ice cream a lot more because like I said, he's been craving it and I've been craving it. That's the major, I think that's the major craving. Um, what else? Oh, I also started craving like tomatoes. Um, and I've never been a huge fan of tomatoes, but lately tomatoes have been um, <coughs> A huge craving like in burgers I always had them take them out but now I always like have to make sure to leave them in because it's a habit to say no tomatoes but then I'm like wait no I want the tomatoes I don't know I just like the in the burgers the tomato with the mayo just it sounds good <laughs> but I've never really like I said been a fan of tomatoes the other day I also craved them oh I've also craved them with like um, eggs scrambled just like some scrambled eggs with tomatoes and some ham um and onion that was another craving what else and then yesterday i was really craving guac but when we make our guac we don't put like um we don't chop up like the tomatoes in there you know how you usually see like guac with like chunks of tomato and onion in them well i was craving that type of guac so i made that guac yesterday with tomatoes and onion in it and then I also made pico de gallo because I was craving tomatoes. Um, I also put it in like sandwiches that we make here. 
Like I'll just cut up the tomato with some onion. And then what else? Oh, I've also craved tortas, but you know, like the struggle tortas where you just get like the um, the deli ham with the teleras and queso fresco and beans with tomato and onion. Oh my God. I had also been craving that. Um, what else? <sighs> Tomatoes, ice cream, sweets, but not like, not like just any sweets. It's really just mainly been like the ice cream. Um, yeah, ice cream. I don't really crave like candy candy. Just ice cream has definitely been number one. Um, stuff that I really can't tolerate eating. Um, I, I haven't really, like, stumbled upon anything where, like, I used to love to eat before I got pregnant and then got pregnant and couldn't stand it. But, um, I just can't really do spicy foods. Maka. Because going into my second trimester, my hey. heartburn has been off the roof. Like, I'll wake up with heartburn. Hey, yeah. I'll wake up with heartburn, I'll go to sleep with heartburn, and I'll get heartburn from anything or nothing at all. Um, I'll do... Oh, another thing that I really, really um, craved, I guess you could say, is ice water. Like, if I'm going to have water, it has to be cold. I can't do room temperature water. I'll drink it, but it's like, sometimes it'll just make me nauseous. So in the mornings, I'll get up and I'll drink some cold water and that gives me heartburn. Cold water gives me heartburn, which is crazy. I had a piece of toast the other day for breakfast and that gave me heartburn. So I can't really do spicy foods like I used to. Like before, everything and anything had to have chile, but now it's like, okay, I can do without the chile a little bit. I mean, it has to have some chile, but not as much because, like I said, the heartburn will kill me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I can't really do spicy foods. Other than that, anything that I've really tolerated before, I can pretty much tolerate now. Um, uh, I, my, um, my lightheadedness um, definitely has increased, had increased in the second trimester and rolling into like my third. Um, so I've always had like low, um, low blood pressure. That's pretty normal for me. But as well as like low iron with all with all the pregnancies. But with this one, oh my gosh, I almost fainted a few times. I just start like blacking out, like slowly the corners of my eyes like start going black, black, black. And um, that has definitely gotten worse throughout the second trimester. Um, I do have to go get some iron tablets that I have yet to go get because I always forget. But I definitely have to get those. I tried getting my... Um, my iron through like food but it still has not worked it's still way too low um so i have to do that but that's another thing that definitely in the second trimester has gotten worse um pain oh my gosh back pain lower Hi. abdomen pain Hi, boy. um hey mom hey son go watch the movie oh, yes, hi. okay well you need to sit down um, yeah. oh, yeah. I started, I definitely started feeling pain into my second trimester a lot more strongly. Um, it started increasing, um, like I've gotten, I want to say they were like cramps, but they would last throughout the whole day without going away. Um, and it was without me doing anything or with me walking too much. It was just... I mean, until now, we really don't know why I was getting those cramps, but thank God they went away now. But I had them for like a week straight where they were just there, persistent, and it was just like it would wrap around to my back, and sometimes I just needed to stop and take a breather. Um, I went into the doctor, they checked me and everything Everything seemed fine, she seemed fine, so they were like, you know what, if it gets worse, give us a call, but I mean, other than that, we really don't know what it is. Up until now, until my last appointment, they're just like, so how is the pain? And I mean, now it comes and goes, which is great. It didn't worsen. Um, but they're like, yeah, it kind of sucks that we don't know. And I was like, yeah, it kind of sucks that we don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, so abdomen pain, back pain. Um, what else? 
not really migraines like I've gotten headaches like here and then but that's more due to like the iron deficiency than anything else um let's see what else I definitely started to feel her move a lot more during the second trimester but that's really that was really towards the end where her movements started getting a lot stronger well don't touch your eyes go get a napkin go to um what else what else what else weight gain i mean my during the first trimester i definitely lost um more weight than i gained i lost 10 pounds during my first trimester going into the second trimester i've kind of i've kind of just um gone back into the weight that i was before i got pregnant with her so i haven't really gained any weight um during the second trimester i've kind of stayed the same so i think maybe the weight gain is going to start to come during third trimester um what else like i said yeah just her movements um definitely got a lot stronger during the second trimester like super stronger like insane maybe i'll put in some clips so you guys can see but she's just moving in there mm -hmm. Um, her movements have been a lot stronger than what I remember the boys' movements being. Which, you know, is great. Love it. Love it. Um, she definitely has her own personality already. When she's hungry, she kicks me. She doesn't allow anyone to touch my stomach because she gets upset. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it as for the recap. Um, Mommy is moving. Yeah, she's moving. Mommy, you see, guys. Mommy, you see, do it here. Mommy? Yes, son. Yes, here. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if I've. I'm pretty sure I forgot something Sorry. that I'll remember uh, later on, as per usual. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, a belly uh, a belly update. And like I said, I'll probably input some videos of her moving. I've caught her moving in a couple videos. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap and enjoyed the boys in the background. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.